I'm covering the series of how we unknowingly get in our own way. And here's one of my top ones that I hear the most. And it's about us daring to dream big enough. That we unconsciously normalize ourselves, we unconsciously harmonize. We un in your heart are um, passions that you've got for things that you want to experience in life. So I think what happens is that we um, think about, well, what do I currently know? What and how to do? What's my current ability and skill set? And then we predict, well, what's a reasonable goal and an outcome for that? And there is nothing wrong with that. I just think that there might be more inside you that you would like to ignite and have as part an experience as part of your life. So here's a question that changed my life, not to barely recognizable, but to unrecognizable, which is, what would you do if you knew you couldn't fail? And everything I am doing today in my business, I was not trained in at the time of answering that question. But where I went to in my mind was, oh, I'd love to work with people, help them believe in themselves so that they are unstoppable. I'd love to understand more about the mind. The mind fascinated me. And I want to reach more people to make more of a difference. I want to be a speaker. Now, believe it or not, at the time, I was really, really nervous about public speaking. I was so in my head over it and so thinking about what was in other people's heads as well, which is another film I'm going to do next. But answering the question, what if you couldn't fail? What would you dare to dream was possible for yourself? It's a game changer. But that takes courage. That takes absolute courage to answer that question. And it takes really looking into yourself to listen to what that is because it's a massive temptation to look at what other people are doing and think I should be doing that. I should be where they are in life. I should be doing better. I should be doing the same job as, as one of my colleagues. But actually that's their life, that's their goals, that's their journey. What I'm interested in for you is what's yours? What do you want for your life? Do you want your boss's boss's job? Do you want a completely different career? Do you want to have more exciting hobbies? Do you want a more connected relationship? Do you want a, a big family around you? What is it that you want? What is it that makes your heart happy? Because we have thoughts, feelings, actions. So everything we do is to create a feeling. What is that feeling and what is it you're experiencing? So I want you to dream big. You know, you can put a big cross through it afterwards, but I want you to have um, an understanding, clarity over what it is you really want. I want to blow that roof off, that limited thinking that we have set in our mind. Just from people saying to us, I don't want you to be disappointed or keep your feet on the ground or who do you think you are? The higher, the higher you climb, the harder you fall. You know, all those belief systems. And so they then in, in time just become our normal thinking. And then it takes somebody like me, a coach, to come along and say, what do you really want? Cut the noise. What do you really, really want? So I'm going to leave that question with you. What do you really want? If you could be, do or have anything, what is that? And then let's, let's bring that into awareness. And then in some other films, we'll start working through Okay, now I know what do I really want. What do I do next? Where do I start? Okay, lovelies. Have a great day.